Tackling inflation is a top priority for lawmakers. That's why the U.S. Senate passed the Inflation Reduction Act back in August. Now President Biden has signed this act into law and money is beginning to make its way into the economy. News 10's Caitlin Hunt caught up with a local farmer to see how this new law will benefit the agriculture business. I'm here at Hayhurst Farms in Vigo County where the owners tell me it's been a pretty good year, but there's some help on the way for those who haven't been as lucky. Terry Hayhurst is a co-owner of Hayhurst Farms in Vigo County. He says he has had good luck with this year's crop of corn and soybeans, but inflation made everything come at a higher cost. Almost everything that we had to put out here to raise a crop this year has increased in value by almost twice as much as what it had in years past. So that's, that's increased the amount of dollars that we had to, had to spend to, to raise this crop. Still, Hayhurst considers himself blessed. He has not faced any other hardships. Farmers across the country have dealt with higher prices, droughts, and transportation issues. These have led to lost income, which has put some farmers behind on paying off their debts. But help is on the way. The U.S. Department of Agriculture announced $3.1 billion will be used as a farm relief program. This money comes from the $770 billion Inflation Reduction Act. This will be for farmers who are behind on loans or face foreclosure. Hayhurst also says the Inflation Reduction Act will also help the agricultural industry in other ways. A little less than $20 billion that goes into conservation programs. Uh, there's $80 billion that's going to be spent on new IRS agents that are supposed to bring in another $200 billion in the way of income. Additionally, around $14 billion will be used to support more renewable energy products. Hayhurst believes this will have a positive impact on farmers. More demand for your product is going to help raise the price, so that helps, helps us during these times when input costs continue to rise and our expenses continue to go up. But it will also have a great impact on consumers too. Keeping agriculture profitable uh, and, and making an affordable food supply is, is uh, extreme, extremely important to the whole United States because last time I checked, most everybody is involved in agriculture three times a day when they eat. And if you qualify for these programs, you should receive a notification from the USDA or FSA. In Vigo County, Caitlin Hunt, News 10.